All right, so right here we got some very interesting consoles. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six consoles, and they range from very good to broken. Very good to broken. Now some are really good, some are really shitty. Um, but again, there are some great consoles here. I got six, so let's go through them. If you want to see more, I will make another video about the individual consoles itself. But for now, let's just keep it at this one. So first, let's take a look at 64-bit game. Oh, it says 64-bit game. But hey, this is console, it is the same as the Pow Kitty V90, I think. And right here it is. So it, it really has no branding, it just has 64 bits right here. You can see it. And yeah, it, it's pretty standard. Like, of course, we all know where the inspiration is from. It's the Game Boy SP. Um, it does have four buttons, which is great. On the side, we got both R1 and R2. That's also pretty handy for some games. We got an SD card, which is 64 gigs in the box. And it is Ultra High Speed 1, which is fine. It's like good enough for emulators. Doesn't really matter that much. Um, on the bottom, we have a headphone jack. Yes, it does have more functionality than the iPhones. We have a USB-C charger, so again, better than iPhones. And we got a volume rocker right here. And at the back, there's like a default battery. You'll see this battery in almost all of these consoles. Like, it, it's fine. But hey, let's turn it on and see what it offers. So right, there are a few emulators and stuff. I hope you can see the screen a little. It is not that bright. Um, here are some default stuff on memory. I have no idea, Commander, like you can play MP4 videos, I think. Not too interested, you got on File Explorer, sure. But here are the emulators, this is the interesting stuff. You got Game Boy, Game of Color, Game of Advanced, Famicom, which is the Nintendo Entertainment System. We got the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Game Gear, Master, Master System, Master Drive. PlayStation 1, which is interesting, it's fairly hard to run. Um, Neo Geo Pocket, WS, I forgot the name, I'm sorry. PC Engine, Arcade, CPS, Neo Geo, MAME, and that's all emulators. You have some ported games right here, so Cave Story, Doom, Digger, whatever. Again, these aren't the greatest games. You got Quake 2 on there, like, if you want to, you can run them. But I think the emulators are most important for the system. We also got some settings right here. There isn't really that much in the settings, so don't mess with them too much. It does have some CPU settings, like you can adjust the clock speeds, but I can't see how to adjust them. So that might be interesting because PlayStation 1 emulation will not always be full speed. Like I've had some issues where it like drops frames, which isn't that weird since this is a fairly small low powered console. So right, let's start off with uh, whatever console we want. Um, Game Boy Advanced. And let's go with Avatar Last Airbender. Sure, that's pretty cool. Um, so right here we got the volume slider. All right, so I think there's like one speaker in the middle or like on the left side that it tunnels through the other one, but I can't really hear it. No, I think it's actually it's both. I think there are both speakers. So you do get stereo sound. Like I can also speed the speakers a little bit. So that's pretty good. Um, I mean, yeah, for the rest, it, 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 it's a game console. Like. You can play emulated games on it and the few ports there are. Um, so yeah, it, it's really not that special. Um, this one is one of the better ones. Like I got a few really shitty in here, um, but yeah, that's all there is for this one. You can also close it and the screen does not turn off. That's a bummer. Like you can't flip it down and then it saves battery, right? No, uh, that's a bummer, but hey, this is a pretty decent console. All right, so next. Yeah, the thing I don't want to talk about. Like, this console itself is fairly good. Oh, also, there was a USB-C cable included with the box. Um, not all of the boxes have all the accessories because I did try them out beforehand. So I hope you understand. This one is interesting. I think this one was 20 euros uh, on, or 20 dollars on AliExpress. So, where's the unbutton? Where is the on button? That says enough. Okay, found it. And right here you have for multiple players. With this one, I also got this controller. So this is USB type, like mini USB. And it can plug into the mini USB port here, I think. Not too sure. Um, but the interesting part about this one, you can here remove this little thing. And now you have a micro or mini HDMI port. And using this, you can output to a TV. So you can output to a TV, have one person play on this one, one person play on the controller, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if these come bundled, but I did get both. But I think they are sold separately. 
So other controllers also should be able to link up. And this one is really crappy. Like these joysticks, they, they work, um, but they are so trashy, like you can spin them. So that feels really bad. And they are really stiff and not okay. So again, we got all the decent stuff, like we got arcades, Mega, like the Sega stuff, the basic Nintendo ones, up until the Game Boy, Game Boy and the Famicom, so the original NES, not even the SNES or something. And I think Game Boy Advance is on here. Um, so yeah, you got a ton of games. Uh, you do have some ROMX on this, that's fun. Like you got Pokemon Orange or Pokemon Islas Naranja by PG. <laughs> sure, let's go with uh, Orange. I'll take it. So this one, it, the last one also, this one felt pretty solid. Oh, I did exit it, damn it. Oh, run game. Run game is like the button on here. Sure. This one is pretty solid, like it feels solid in the hand. This one feels very cheap. Like it doesn't flex or anything, but it is really plasticky and it creaks if you push on it. Oh, and it's also one of these old screens. Like if you push too hard on it, it will like leave an imprint and it will slowly extract. So that's interesting. Oh, this isn't even. This isn't even. If that, 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 I can't talk. This isn't even Game Boy Advance. This is the original Game Boy stuff, I think. Of course, this also just works like normal. I think this is a bit of a derpy game. Uh, you do have a menu like you can save on multiple slots, so you have save states. That that's pretty handy. Like for real, that's something you would use if you play ROM hacks a lot. Um, and let's just quit. Sure. Um, so yeah. This is also an interesting one. It is fairly cheap and it does also have the headphone jack, power on off. Um... Oh, TV audio out. Sure, I'll take it. Uh, USB in and the TV HDMI port. That's basically it. And it says we're open right here. So let's open it. And I gotta restart the recording soon. Damn it. Um, this has the same battery, so that's pretty standard. And if you pop it out, all right, you should be able to pop it out, and then you get three batteries. Right here, we have the battery. Like, it's pretty standard. There again are a ton of games loaded on this. I mean, it, it works and it does what it needs to do, but it feels really crappy. Like, the buttons are okay, but the joysticks are terrible. And I think the joysticks are just mapped to, like, this D-pad, so, yeah. Let's turn this one off, and let's see the next one. Like, I, I dropped this one. I didn't uh, have the console in it. It does come with some stuff. It comes with a TV output, with, which looks like a mini jack to component. No one uses components anymore, so don't use it. Um, we also have a charger cable, which is nice. Of course, no charger. None of these has chargers in the box, which is fair. And let's see. Yeah, we got the default battery again. And I'm not really complaining about the battery. Like it's 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 good enough. Like it works. Um, so again, we got a power button which works, charge port, the TV output. I'm not sure if you have, I don't think you have headphone jacks. And here's again a volume slider. And this one is the worst. Like you don't have a D-pad, just this uh, joystick. And again, this joystick spins. It's so annoying when you like go on the edge, like you can't really use it. So here we got some random games. We got Wonder, Dino, Final Fight, Ghouls, Woof, Woof, Woof. Oh. Uh, it says something of fate. Snow Bros, and it sounds really bad. Oh, these are the NES games. Um, I have to use this. Oh yeah, we got, um, these, these are all Chinese or Japanese games. Like I can't read most of them, but you need to press on the actual console to go back and reset to go to the main screen. Sure, I'll take it. So again, you need to press on the actual console and then you'll see a list of games. It, it's, it's fair, like it, it works. The build quality is surprisingly solid. It's also a lot smaller than this one. This one feels bad. It feels pretty solid. It does make some sounds and it does have an R and L, so sure. Um, I haven't been able to try this one too much because it sucks so much <laughs> that I'm not willing to like play it like a long time. Like my hands are way too big for this, but hey, I mean, it was like $9 and that's from the wholesale. So um, I also look up some links from AliExpress, but of course, hey, this one is very cheap. Like I don't expect you to pay more than 10 bucks for it. So for the 10 bucks, it might be worth it. But again, the question with the co these consoles is, do you want to pay for them? <laughs> because 
You also got a phone, and your phone probably is faster than any of these. Um, but hey, let's... Oh, my game crashed. Oh. Ooh, this audio sucks. And uh, this Chinese or Japanese? Not really sure, I think Japanese. Um, but right here we got Fire Emblem. Again, the screen also is pretty bad. It is definitely a TN panel. I uh, haven't checked these ones yet. Like, this one is a no-go. Like, if you really have to and you just have 10 bucks, this one is the only one you can buy. Um, but I really would recommend some other ones. So the next one, again, is interesting. This one has Android on it. Like, it is Android 5.0, which is ancient. Um, but isn't that fast, so that's understandable for performance. But you don't see anything from Android. Like, it has a custom-built interface. You can install APKs on it if you install an APK on your SD card. So put it on and then install it. That should work. I haven't tested it out yet. Maybe in another video. And that was really sweet. This one was stuck in customs for a long time. If you ship anything, don't use FedEx. Like, I've been waiting on one of these for over a month. But it already was in the Netherlands. Like, it doesn't my country like waiting. But it, they sent this Christmas card. Like, it's handwritten. That, that's so sweet. So thank you. Um, yeah, let's continue on. So this one has Android and this is... I think this also is like uh, a wholesaler one. Like you can't uh, see any branding on it and others do have a brand on it, so... Interesting. It does have stereo speakers, I think, like on the back. It has some healing elements here, so that's cool. More performance, because cooling. Not going through this one open, because I don't have screw over here. You do have an HDMI, a full HDMI, so I could test this out in a dedicated video, like... Put it on the TV and see if it works. We got an SD card of 32 gigabytes. Like, I'm going to be rich in SD cards after this video. Um, put it in. At the bottom we have a micro USB. We got, uh, for controllers, you can have... Oh! Um, this is like, if you want to have this USB for on the go, like, have an USB in it, I think. Not too sure. Um, we have like one of those tiny microphone ports. Don't really like them. Oh! These ones are for audio. <laughs> now I understand. It isn't just component, this is just the audio. Why? Why would you plug this in into like an old TV or something? I know like some stereo boxes used to have these, but they suck. Alright, so you got those one of those mini headphone things. You got a really small reset button. It isn't like easy to press, so that's good. Um, and it has two USB ports. So again, like you can plug controllers into these and then hook this up to your TV, so that's pretty cool. You can have at least two players playing on this, maybe three if you count in the controller. But I don't think this one works if you use USB controllers. So let's continue on. Where's the power button again? Oh yeah, it's on the front. And this one is interesting. Oh, is it empty? Nope, there it is. Nice light. Um, this one also suffers from the horrible joysticks. Why make them spin? What's the benefit? It sucks. Like, this one is a bit better. Like, it feels a bit more solid. But again, if you're on the edge, your finger will slip and it will feel really poor. Um, the buttons of this are pretty solid. Like, this one also feels quite sturdy. And I think this one wasn't too expensive. Not too sure, so the price will be on screen again. And... Wait, let's see. Yep, that's actually stereo. Let's turn this off. Oh yeah, here's like a minus and a plus. I thought this was like start and select, but it's audio. Like now it's turning off and now it's turning on again. Um, I'm not sure if it's just this song which is very bad, but the audio quality is very poor. We of course have the Nintendo Entertainment System, we got the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, all the Game Boy ones in one list, like that's really useful, like, you don't want to select this is a Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advanced, just pop them all in, it's fine. We got the Nintendo 64, which is pretty cool. PlayStation 1, which again, it is pretty demanding, I haven't tried this out yet. Arcades, um, Sega stuff, like, all of the Sega consoles, which again, is pretty crazy to have in one place. Arcade from Capcom, PlayStation Portable, Atari, another Atari, and we got Android apps. We also have Neo Geo, Super, wait, Super, GraphX, oh, it's PC Engine, I forgot. Game Gear, Dreamcast, and that's it. But the interesting one is we got Android apps. So we got Android, VLC, Raycast, which is... Boy. Sega Dreamcast? Not sure. And we got the 32-bit version of RetroArch, which again is pretty useful. There are a ton of emulators out there. Um, but let's start up some Angry Birds. 
where you're going to use a remote. Sure, it's it's all in Chinese, of course. Um, what are we? Oh, there's. Yep. Damn it. No, what the? F it's crashed. All right, let's give off on Android. Um, and let's go to PlayStation 1 because I am curious how well it will run. Um, some Destruction Derby or some Grand Theft Auto. Gotta go for some GTA, like, it's the classic. Alright, so it is using RetroArch, like, these updates are from RetroArch. Alright, performance is pretty terrible. Like, this is running at, like, under 10 FPS. Well, this is running very poorly, so let's not use this one. So, as I expected, performance isn't that great for this one, but it can run some Android games, so that's pretty cool. So, let's move on to the next consoles, which are the most impressive ones. They're also the most uh, expensive, so keep that in mind. One of these is 90 euros, on sale it goes for like 70, and one of these is like 120. And here they are. They are basically the same consoles, but they are amazing. Like, they are really good. Let's take them both out of the box. Here are they. And you got the P version, which stands for plastic. And you got the M version, which stands for metal. And the systems are basically just the same. So that, that's fine. Like they mark up for the materials, which is fair. Like, yeah, metals are <laughs> harder to produce. And also this one has Wi-Fi built in and this one doesn't. Like that's one of the killer features of this one. But the fun thing is, if you look at the ports, I'm going to focus on the P version because I used it one the most. You got two USB Cs, which is pretty cool. One of them is for on the go and charging, so you can charge via this one. You got a headphone jack, so again, better than iPhones. You got on the go, which is like here in here you can plug in some USB connectors. So right here we got a USB C to USB A port, and we got a Wi Fi adapter in the box. I think those ship with it, not 100% sure, I will check. And you can plop it in and right here you got Wi-Fi. Like whenever you need it, you can use this and I think you can even play online with these ones. So that's pretty fun, you can use Netplay. Um, you can even flash Linux on this. So again, this one is pretty solid. Um, for now, let's uh, turn it on. Where's the power button? Oh yeah, so right here you got power. Like hold it for power, sure. Um, it is from Abernick, like, my contact was really chill, like, they sent me this one, the plastic one, which I ordered, and then they also sent out the metal one. Like, I didn't even know they were going to do that, but that's really appreciated, like, they are pretty cool. So definitely be making a video about these one day. And you got a ton of emulators. So you got Nintendo DS, New Geo, MAME, uh, yeah, a ton of stuff, like, you can pause the video if you want, you got, like, most of the consoles. Um, you can ask for also PlayStation if you want in there somewhere, yep, there it is. PSP, all games, favorites. But an interesting as DS, I don't recommend this because this is not touchscreen. Um, so playing DS games isn't the best experience. Sorry to say this, but it isn't. Use your phone, like, if you've got a longer phone, DS games run perfect on drastic, like, it's amazing. Um, we also got some games preloaded on this one. And performance is pretty solid. For real, like, I can start up most of these things and it works like a charm. Even PlayStation 1, which is fairly hard to run, it works pretty good. Also, the buttons of this one feel solid and the joysticks. They feel a bit like the um, the Switch joysticks, but they actually tilt a bit more. So that, that's fine by me. Like, these ones feel solid, you can press them in so they have the actual click, which again, for some games is required. Not sure if it's PlayStation 1 yet, or if it is introduced in PS3 or 2, not sure. Um, but you can open up games like... It, it works like expected, and it has a ton of features. Uh, my cut with this one is 64 GB SD card, so that's again pretty great. Um, I'm going to test out if it's dual speaker right now. But an interesting thing, like if it is booting, you can press the power button once, it goes to sleep mode. And then you can like awaken it, and it goes where it was previously, so that's pretty good. Uh, right here you have a reset one on the bottom, so you can actually restart it. It is Air 1, Air 2, and also for the L. And again, the speed is really great. I'm not sure about the specs. Um, if you compare them to cheap phones, like cheap phones of around $100 will still be faster than this one. So if you're going for like the latest games or the best emulators, your phone still is better. But not everyone wants to have like games on their phone for whatever reason, might not be comfortable. Like this one is pretty comfortable in the hands. They have this 
good. And it's, it's like it works for what it's designed for. And this one also is the best one for the community because there's a whole community around this. Again, yeah. 3D games, they run flawlessly. Let's reset it. So right here we got emulator station loaded on this. And if you press plus, and here are these settings, like you got a ton of settings, also for networking, of course, for updates, which is pretty good. And you can quit. And you can restart emulation station. And you can start RetroArch. RetroArch is already loaded on this. You can update the course, I think. And just use RetroArch because some prefer it, some don't. Like the UI is better on the emulation station, but hey, here's just full on RetroArch, which is great. Um, you can also flash Linux onto this. Like you put the files on the SD card and you get Linux. Um, I think it was Arc OS running on this. So like you can run a lot more things on it. I have yet to try this out. So if I'm going to make a dedicated video, I'm definitely going to run Linux on this because it's just pretty cool. Like I want to see how much you can do on like a console of $90 with Linux. So again, that's sick. This one is really solid. Um, this one, because it is metal, it is a lot heavier. And the buttons, well, the D-pad, it feels a bit more, um, a bit more stiff, which is fine. Joysticks feel the same. These buttons on here actually feel a lot better. Like they have a better click to it. Like it feels more solid. Um, not too much to say about the L and R. That's the same. And overall, these ones are just really solid. Um, they're hard to open up though. Like you got need to have a special screwdriver. That's a bit of a downside. Like. Just put some Philips set in there, like it's okay to have people open up them consoles. But yeah, these are pretty solid and pretty amazing. Like I have actually been playing on this one for a while, so played through some Pokemon game. And a roommate of mine played on this one. So I think these two are my favorites. They are also of course the most expensive ones because hey, usually if it's more expensive, it also works better. But hey, these ones are pretty solid, like if you want to pick them up, all links are down below for all of these consoles listed with the prices. So again, thank you to all of these sellers. If there's enough interest, I will make a dedicated video about them. So stay tuned for that, subscribe, also like the video if you enjoyed it and you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next video. Ah! Uh -huh.